Oh god, I lost so many of them. I lost so many of them. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a cooking video. I've never made fajitas before, and I found this recipe online for fajitas, so we're gonna try and follow it step by step and make these delicious looking fajitas. I'm super stoked about it, because I love fajitas. It's one of those things that I never think to order at a restaurant until like, you know, you've already ordered or you already have your food and you like smell it and they're bringing it out and you hear the sizzling. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I'm making chicken fajitas, BT dubs, uh, cause I'm not a big fan of steak too much. And I also, I said to use chicken breasts, but I got those like already like, like thinner tenders because I feel like there's just less uh, fat on them and I'm not a fan of animal fat. It grosses me out, so. That's, yeah, and then I cut them even smaller. They're like strips, like maybe like that long and like that wide, I don't know. You, I don't know, you'll see when, I like, at, when I'm like when i cooking them. There we go, okay. Also, I am gonna link to the recipe in the description because it's not my recipe, even though I had named it Chelsea's Chicken Fajitas. Uh, it's not, it, so I wanna give credit to the woman you know whose recipe it is, and also because I am cutting everything in half. So like you're supposed to use two chicken breasts, I'm using one, so like, either look at the recipe or just double everything I'm doing. If the recipe says it makes six servings. So I guess this will make like three fajitas, I don't know. I got like tortillas and sour cream and a salsa as well to put on it after we're done. Oh, wait, I do have cheese. I totally have cheese, didn't even know that. I totally have cheese. Wait, no, I didn't get a block of cheddar cheese. I got slices, whatever, I'll cut, we can cut those up because I definitely want cheese on the fajitas. First step is you cut the chicken up and then you put it in a plastic bag and then we're gonna add the oil and spices. And I'm just gonna go, I'm not gonna like tell you everything you need. We'll just do it as we go along. All right, actually, while I'm like naming these spices and putting them in here, I'm just gonna say what the recipe actually calls for. But I'm actually cutting it in half. Like what I'm putting in is half of what it calls for. So you know what I mean. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Let's put that in there. And then one and a half teaspoons of oregano. Oh, there was totally still salt in there. Half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, which um, I guess if you wanted it like spicier, you could put more. It also said those are optional, but I mean, I love red pepper flakes, so we're obviously gonna put those in half to. One and a half teaspoons of cumin. One teaspoon of garlic powder, that is. Half of a teaspoon of chili powder. And the last spice to go in is half a teaspoon of paprika. Woo, woo, woo. Literally, this is the smallest thing of canola oil. I had that buy canola oil. And this is the smallest thing they had, and I literally only need two tablespoons of it. So, voila. One more thing, lemon juice. I took a lemon, cut it in half. It calls for two tablespoons of lemon juice. So we're gonna use one table, oops, I just got oil on the lemon, whatever. Go in the same place. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh wait, let me get the seeds out. Or at least the ones on top. Oh god, oh it's just getting all over my shirt. You're just gonna slip it up. And I actually said to put the oil and the lemon in first, but I just, you know, didn't do that. And then just mix it up, you know, make sure everything, oh y'all can't even see me for a second. Oh my gosh, I got lemon juice literally everywhere. It's all over this bag, it's all over the cutting board, it's all over my hands. Luckily I don't have any cuts. Then you're gonna refrigerate that. It says from one to four hours in the fridge. Uh, I have zero patience, so we're gonna do one hour. And I will be back in an hour. All right, there's still like 16 minutes uh, for the chicken to marinate for it to be an hour, but I was like, why? Oh, these are so cold. I was like, why am I not cutting up the bell peppers and onion? So, it calls for a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper, but I don't have a green bell pepper out of these three, so I'm actually just gonna use like a fourth of each one of these. And then I also don't want a ton of onion. I have this like half onion. I'm just gonna cut like a third of that as well. And it says to julienne them, so like long slices. Now we're gonna cut up the onion. I just kinda just want like the onion flavor. I don't really want like huge chunks of onion in it. Literally like that's all I'm gonna cut up. We have our onions and bell peppers and we're gonna move over to the stove. All right, now you take a skillet you take your bell peppers and onions, you put them in there, put it, uh, I don't know what I put it on. I'm gonna put it like medium, low, low, medium. And then you just saute these until they're crisp tender. My camera battery died, so if the shot changed at all, that's why. <laughs> I think these are almost done. I want the bell peppers to get a little more cooked. The timer for the chicken already went off, so it's been in the fridge for an hour now. 
well, like an hour and five minutes probably now. So that's good. I mean, it said one to four hours, you know, like I said. So I don't, should I put oil in this? Like it didn't say to, like olive oil. I feel like I should have put like some drops of olive oil. Yeah, I guess I can. Just a teeny tiny bit. Like, no, oh, that's enough. Oh, I bet they're gonna slide around better now. Yep, let's try the fancy. Oh my God, I freaking did it. Oh God, I lost so many of them. I lost so many of them. Oh my, well they'll get crunchy now. They're like sitting on the stove top. Oh my God. Okay, we're not gonna do that again, ever. Just kidding, I probably will the next time I cook. That oil is already helping. I definitely should have added that from the beginning. <laughs> Whatever, you learn from your mistakes, right? Until you make it again, because you forgot. Now we're cooking, literally. Okay, I think this is good enough because you put them back into the pan later. It says to take those off and then you put them somewhere to keep them warm. So I'm just gonna stick them in the microwave up here. That usually keeps things kind of warm. All right, so then we got our chicken. You take the same skillet, even though I assume there'd be like juices, but there's not, that's fine. Uh, medium high heat. It says get rid of the marinade and then put the chicken in there, but like why would I do that? It's not that it's like liquidy or anything. So I'm just gonna dump the chicken in there. It says to cook it for five to six minutes or until it's, you know, cooked, because it's chicken and we don't want salmonella. All right, we're gonna cut into, I think this is the big, oops. This is the biggest piece. I've let it like get crunchy on the outside. I'm like really, really weird about me. Okay, I guess I need a fork. I'm gonna cook it a little longer. Um, it doesn't look pink, but that was kind of difficult to cut through. It's like done. <laughs> okay. Then you add the peppers and onion back in. And then once you put the peppers back in, it says to just like, heat it up until it's all warm, which like, it's already all warm. This looks so good, it smells so good, guys. Ooh, these onions have caramelized so nicely. Let's take this off. We're just gonna like put it all in this bowl again. Yay for no more dirty dishes. How freaking good does this look? How good does that look? It looks so good. Oh my gosh, oh! Oh, it's really hot. I probably shouldn't do that. It's like literally steaming. Who cares? Uh, let's go. Let's make the, I'm gonna make it like little um, tacos out of them because that's, you know, just I guess how you eat fajitas. I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna make uh, three, I think. I've got sour cream. I got some cheese that I just like cut up. Obviously the filling, tortillas, and I got this mango peach salsa. I've had this before and it is the most delicious thing ever by far the best salsa i've ever had okay what i like to do when i'm making tacos i like to take the sour cream and put it on like this so it doesn't fall out and i can like spread it out so it's not like thick anywhere i took the lid off that preemptively that is fine okay now we're just gonna add the filling oh it smells so good it totally smells like a restaurant okay, we're just gonna put some chicken Okay, didn't get any chicken. <laughs> Cannonball peppers and onions. <laughs> and we're gonna take some salsa, add some of that, then just add the cheese. And obviously, like, you can put anything you want in these or you don't have to make them at all. Dear prerogative. The camera just shut off. So I don't know if it was recording or not when I just took a bite of this. Just in case, it is everything I imagined and more. They don't look amazing, amazing. They taste phenomenal. So good. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna go enjoy this. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, subscribe if you're not, you know the drill. And, and have a great day.